Hey guys, welcome to episode 22. This is the Portfolio Manager Coding Session Series. And today we're going to be debugging the implementation of the feature that allows a trading bot to send uh, its own trading engine to the Portfolio Manager so that it can store it at the Portfolio Engine and be accessible at formulas and conditions. Okay, so we already did, did implement this code and it's here. What I'm going to do now is to debug it. Okay, so to debug this, we will use task server one for the portfolio manager. Um, And task server two that we don't have right here for um, task server two for the mm, trading trading bot. Okay, for the trading bot. So I'm thinking how I'm going to start this stuff and probably will use this and this and task server too. So we can put this window here. And here. Okay. So now that we have this guy, portfolio manager client, um, in particular, we will need, or I will be interested in dividing and debugging here when we do a candle exit. Okay. So on this side of the portfolio, I'm going to position it myself. Add this checkout and debug from here. We also sa have some code at the portfolio managed trading bot. That is the one which copies all this stuff into the trading engine actually. So we're going to put a breakpoint there. Okay, and we're also going to put one breakpoint here so that we can control the trading engine if it already has the values or not. Okay, so this is our setup. We need to check because I haven't run these two bots since a while. We need to check. If the session parameters are okay or not, okay. So I'm going to remove these session parameters and attach these ones. There are the ones that I have previous the installation of the market and regarding the portfolio parameters. We have one minute time range between 1 and 2 of September. And I think we are good. So we save the workspace. And we're going to run task server 1. <coughs> Run it there, very good. And then we're going to debug this from here. Okay, so this is run. Then we're going to run task server two. Run 
one very good and we're going to come up here and debug here what I'm going to do is to move this a little bit closer to the other guy like here so as not to so as to avoid going up and down like crazy okay so both both ports are running then I can run either of them it doesn't really matter because they are going to be synchronized so I'm going to run probably this one first okay He's going to be waiting there. And I'm going to run this session here. Okay, so some of these breakpoints should be hit. Okay, here a problem occur. So here something collapsed. This is task server one. Okay. So I know where the problem is. Or no, I don't know. Open episode. I think that we don't have this episode Bay Asset and Quote Asset stuff. That's why it is undefined. I will confirm this. Portfolio episode. Yeah, we don't have a base asset, we have this exchange managed assets. that we are not going to deal with this anytime soon so Um, okay, so instead of deleting things like crazy, I will just comment this stuff because this is something we are, we don't know what we are going to do with this yet. So for now, I don't want to delete it, just delete it because it might be useful.
So all these calculations, I don't really need them. So I will need to put everything into comment mode. Okay, so we we'll have to run this again, and probably the other guy too. So debug, and number two. Debug. Okay. Okay, once we have this, we can run this guy, and we can run this guy. Okay, another problem. Portfolio episode. Portfolio episode, what are we doing here? Open episode. Begin rate, we don't have the begin rate. Why is this missing? I'm starting to worry now that a lot of things have been removed that might be useful. Portfolio, episode, And I need also trading episode. Manage trading bot, Jason. 
Ähm Trading engine, trading episode. Okay, so the trading episode has begin end, begin rate, end rate. I don't know why portfolio episode doesn't have this. Really very strange. And also this guy has, well, I guess Okay, let's compare one to one. Serial number identifier, begin end. Serial number identifier, let's put it here. Serial number identifier, begin end, begin rate and rate. Okay. Then we have status, exit type, Begin rate, end rate, status, um, status 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 exit type status exit type I don't know why this was removed which is the logic of removing this I don't know exit type head of market head of market Process day. Okay, so here we have this process day. We have episode based asset, episode code asset, trading episode counters. Okay, I would add this um, we don't actually have a base asset and quote asset but I, if it's not my goal right now to be dealing with this I want the first the features implemented so I'm going to add these nodes because I don't mind them being there Then we have all these portfolio, portfolio, distance to portfolio. Cool. Candle cycle, user defined variables. User defined variables. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to refresh the page, reload this stuff, undo all the changes that I made here. Not here, but here. Leave it like always and let it run like freely with everything. Then I will adapt that stuff, but that's not the main problem now. Okay. So we'll, re we'll generate a new version of the episode engine of the portfolio engine with all the nodes that usually goes there.
Okay, so there is one thing that probably I forgot. That is that at the portfolio, we need to declare all the projects of every node. Otherwise, are going to be from some other project. So you need all these guys to be perfectly well defined. So let's go again. Okay, good. Now they look cool. Probably we will not need this, but the day that we remove it, we are going to remove not only here, but also the uh, the code and everything is going to be clear. Okay. So for now, this is going to be the next version of portfolio. Okay, so with this refine, let's go back to our processes. We run number one and we divide. We run number two and we divide. We're going to run this. Parent task not running. Let me find this stuff. Parent task not running. And we are going to run also this stuff.
Okay, I got lost. This is like waiting, but the other one is not waiting. I don't know what happened. But now I got tired about this stuff. So I, I want to find where this is happening and why. Run session. What is this on status? So why this is giving task process not running? Why? Okay, there are two points here. Now I want to know why this is task manager server. So essentially here, so this is setting up uh, a listener to see, to check for the responses, right? But, what is it exactly what is receiving here? And who is sending this? And why I cannot find it here? Task manager. Who is this task manager server? And where are you running? Task process not running. Ah, I know what is going on. I know what is going on. When you are debugging, so that message is intended to be shown when you want to run a session, parent task not running. Okay. Okay, so I know the problem. When you try to run a session and there is no, the task is not running, then you for sure receive this event. The thing is that the task is running but in debug mode, but this is not detecting that. So how do I get to know when we are in debug, debug mode, terms of flow node? Trading session, for instance, if I
Hold on. Trading session functions is from algorithmic trading, okay? So from foundations, we should have the UI task functions, okay? Task functions. So task functions have a run and a debug method. Probably the run is the same as the debug with this debugging stuff. So is debugging If this debugging is true, it's just going to send this, but nothing else is remember. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the property at this object, this. This debugging is going to be equal to this. So depending on if it was started as debugging or not is and also when you stop the task this debugging is going to be false. Okay? So is debugging is going to be something that I'm going to put somewhere over here. Is debugging undefined. Okay. So when you run the session trading or a portfolio session and you and we receive this message that process not running I need to also check We are here. We have the node that triggered this, right? And we know that this node is one, two, three, the task. But we can search for the task. Let task Let me say, say it like this. Let task equals to find in no bra in node mesh. Okay, I need to find the task. I know it's three nodes. Uh, above on the parent, but I don't want to be tied to that fact because someday it could be moved somewhere else. So I'm going to find that so find all in mesh. Going to do like this. So the node is node. This is going to be task. Task. The task. This. 
and then we need this to go only upwards okay so i need to find the function function definition finally in this meshes so node node type and define it's going to be true false true so no type and then no name payload children parent no name payload no name payload children parent reference parent okay so this is perfect we are going to find the task and this is the task node okay so we are going to ask here if this is responding like that was not right and task dot payload the UV object is undefined, which means that it's not debugging. Then you're going to show me this. Sorry, UV object dot is debugging is undefined. Okay, so only in this situation. You're going to show me this otherwise you're not okay okay so let's refresh this and see if we finally solve that bug that is so annoying because it only happens to me because I'm the one debugging this. Okay, maybe that happened because one thing was loaded before the other guy was there. So I don't care about that one. So the thing is, if I run this now, parent task not running. That's good. But if I run task one and I run this stuff, And now I run this. Voila, no more errors. Okay. At least not because of the same stuff. So I will consider this a bug fixed.
okay so what happened This is strange because I should see the error here. So if it was not there, then it should be at the UI. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. One more time. Okay, I don't know what I did before, probably I ran the other task, I, I, I'm not sure. Now this is running, okay, I'm going to run this here. I cannot believe this. Parent task not running, what is this? And we're talking about portfolio management. Okay, first debug, okay, first debug, what is going on there? This is running, debugging. Is debugging is undefined. So where did I put that property? My understanding is that I put it at Mm, no, I didn't put it at the right place. Trading session, task functions, no, of course not. I didn't put it right. This is a function library. So in a place where I should put this, is node payload node payload UI object is debugging
and now we are putting the stuff at the same place okay so let's check it out Okay, now so we run here. This task is going to be this, and is debugging is going to be undefined. That's why this is going to show the message. What in task work run? Okay, I get it. We're going to run this again. And now we're going to debug it from here. Okay. And now we're going to run it from here. We're going to find the task and its debugging is going to be true. That means that it's not going to show us the ugly message okay it's just going to run then it's going to fail here but that is exactly what we were expecting Okay, begin balance of undefined. So we are here again at episode bar base asset. It's undefined. So why? Begin rate and rate. Begin rate and rate. Begin balance and balance. So what is undefined exactly? Ah, because these were removed. Also from, oh my God. These were also removed from from the session. So it's not sent to the tax server. Portfolio session, trading sessions. 
So here, at some point, we have episode base asset. And the same thing here, we just don't have it. Okay. So all of this was removed. Balance, begin balance and balance. Kids face. Okay, so in order for this to work or continue working, I will need to add here rows that probably will be delete okay, so we will need And by heat fade, heat radio. Heats. Face. Heat phase, heat ratio, Coffee Lord, Roy, Anos, Anos, Heat Fade. Coffee Lord, Heat Radio, Heat Fade, Days, Roy, River, River, Statistics.
Okay. Okay, so this is going to cover all this. This is going to cover also all this. Okay, for sure there are going to be more things. Profit, loss, Roy, heat, fail, days, and normalized rate of return. Days. Okay, so these guys apparently are for portfolio system. Okay, so cleaning this stuff is a task by itself. So I have to spend probably one episode cleaning this stuff because this is fundamental to have the right path of how to retrieve all the information from the portfolio engine is something you don't want to be testing a thousand times until you get it right okay so portfolio episode starts here So why should I even um I take out cleaning? Cleaning lighting path of portfolio engine is something that we will need to do uh, because. We will need not only the portfolio engine based on the trading engine, but also we will need the nodes, like the ones, exchange manage asset, for instance. Are they here? Manage 
Okay. But they are not at the right place. Okay. So these are inside of portfolio current. Okay. So then we have portfolio last with exchange money last. Okay. Then we have managed trading bots. Is this here? Okay, so this should be here. And then and then we have the portfolio episode. Okay. The portfolio episode is essentially everything that the trading episode have so far. But refactoring trading by portfolio. Okay. Trading by portfolio will replace all. And then we have portfolio episode complete. Oh, no, 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 no. We need this here. Here. But then we need also all the nodes related to the trading engine. Okay, so everything related to the trading engine, we also need to add it. Because We are including it here. This is added. Okay, so this would be what we are needing today. And on top of this, there is a lot of things that probably we need to clean or remove that we are not really using but nothing happened if we have it here okay so this would be the way to run this stuff so let's refresh and Okay, this is already stopped.
Okay, so now we have better chances for this to work. And we will try it now. We run. Okay, still crashing. Okay, portfolio episode reading config. Okay, so we don't actually have this. So here we have no channels, but to put zero for now, because we actually don't have this information. We don't have session based assets because the portfolio is not based on this. So we don't want to disrupt all these calculations, but Sorry, but we don't have that info. Okay, another error. Reading config. <laughs> okay, that was not very clever from my side. So what else are you guys? Time frame. Well, I guess it should work now. Okay, so this is the code related to the balance. And okay, so we are not going to use this now. And Oh, 
also portfolio system it might have these fetch balances is not something that we actually want to do so first things first okay so let's run it okay so here we are so this guy is going to wait just there until this guy check in and check out so we're going to keep this here but we're going to run the second no run the other task here the trading task okay then debug and then run this and now we are in task 2 okay where we are going to have the trading trading engine injected into the message okay there is this huge json in there and we're going to send it and we're going to get it from here message we got a trading engine cool so once we have it here enter this checkout candle okay candle begin response is okay check this and this map that has no entry we are going to store our trading engine from this session okay and then it's going to continue executing and it's going to move into here so it's, it's going now we are going to clone the values so for each session we're going to get the trading engine trading current and all the information and we're going to get the managed trading bot engine which we fail there Okay, so there was something undefined. That says cannot read properties of undefined. Okay, so the trading system Sorry, it was not a trading system, it was here
So this failed because this was undefined. Um, and it was undefined. I don't know why. Why? Manage trading bot. So does this exist? Manage trading bots. Manage trading bot. Trading bot engine. So I need to see here wherever I am do I have this? okay I have this so portfolio engine manage trading bots manage trading bots Zero. So why was this not? Okay, this is a problem. This give me the managed trading bot so this is redundant it should be here like this okay so we'll do the test again because we are almost there um, so we we'll run this again Good. Debug. Oh. We're going to stop this and run number two and then debug. All right, then we run this guy. Oops, ah, it runs both because it's a managed session. Okay, be careful with that. So we are at number one, waiting wait for manage okay we wait continue okay okay so we have the node we make the clone and now we can see at the portfolio engine we're going to spec this portfolio engine. So we have portfolio calling no, manage trading bots. Manage trading bots, a right of two. Then the first one, manage trading bot engine. This has a trading current, trading last, trading current, strategy, blah, 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 position, trading episode. 
So we are in the trading episode. Begin. It has a value. Candle. Begin close. Begin begins with. Okay. The open of the candle is 11,000. It's perfect. It has everything. Trading episode counters, periods, one. Perfect. Perfect. Now, the thing that we need is that the next time that this stops here, that the trading engine will have will also have all this information which the, the portfolio engine which will have it because I don't know why it wouldn't have it but just to confirm my trading board my trading board the first one is here. My trading board engine. Trading current. Trading episode. Base asset. balance okay so my guess is this is already working so we're going to just let it run here. And I wouldn't say this is running like perfectly well, but at least the functionality that we coded for portfolio engine to be getting the information of the portfolio of the trading engines and my understanding is that that is working, okay? So, to recap, at the previous episode, we already called the mechanism to send the portfolio engine from a, the trading engine from a trading board into the portfolio board. At the candle checkout, uh, execution, when it check out that it finished uh, processing a candle. So things are stored in a map that then when all the checkouts finish, then we move it to the portfolio engine. And all of that feature seems to be working to me. So I believe that we have finished with this feature. Let me see if there is for each yeah the training engine part is done so we have two pending stuff on the list that are like an important one is a bug that happens when the dates of these bots are not started exactly the same day. And the other is fetching the balances from the exchange 
in the case of light trading. And if you are not live trading, then we should somehow simulate what is going on, uh, or we should simulate that stuff. So uh, that is all for now. I think this is working. So thank you and see you next time.